Hey everybody, it's Dr. Qua. The doctor is in. We're back with Wastelands 3. And we're just, we're still getting our feet wet. Um, figuring out the mechanics, figuring out how things work. Doing okay. We got some new party members now. Now let's continue. We're just kind of checking out the base. We ran into some kind of creatures that got us, I don't know, some rats that got us poisoned. Which reminds me, one dude, I think the doc, he's got um, something wrong with him. I got to figure out what that is. Nip that in the bud before it gets worse. That gun's kind of cool, that laser gun thing. That looks like the gun, sort of, that was in Fallout 4. Fallout 4. Although the helmet she's wearing is wearing, or he, or it's top. Looks like the one in Fallout 4 as well. We got a sniper rifle with duct tape. That's pretty cool too. All right, so I wanted, I wanted to check out. Yeah, the professor's got something wrong with him. How do you do that? Oh, right there. Okay, internal bleeding. There's something's going on in there, and it ain't good. You can only remove an injury kit or doctor NPC. All right, well, we have the injury kit. Um, can he use it on somebody else? Let's equip it. Um, let's have... All right, she's the heavy. We'll have her equip this. Oh my God, man. Jeez. Look at that, man. Oof. I get rid of the peace snow thing. Let's give the dock a grenade. You can't equip this? I guess not. Why is she back to the... Right, I'm not sure. All right, so let's go to him. Let's heal. Yeah, Professor Higgs. All right, now he's good. We should be. What? He's not? Come on. Inj oh, an injury kit, you idiots. Wrong thing. Sorry. <laughs> Um, unequip. All right, everything's all set now. All right, you gotta place the item, gotcha.
Now, I thought I had more armor. Yeah, I do. Why is armor one modding? That is her, correct? Yes. My combat speed's just a little higher. I don't want to drop it. I want to use it. Requires modding. Oh, it's an armor mod. Oh, she's got the armor. Okay. All right, so this is where I'm talking about getting my feet right here. Um, her leg armor. Okay, how do we? Modify with that. Hey, there we go. Okay, cool. All right, so we kind of don't have to do too much. All right, let's go to All right, Ghost Riders first. Please, don't shoot. The woman has gone or closed her eyes. She's surrounded by a group of bedrile vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. We're the rangers. Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us, but you're not beholden to them. You should so fearful look at Quan, but he doesn't seem to notice. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. You set off the security system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago. So we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and... We never set anything off before. Can yeah, you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. Oh, you can stay. Good call. Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge. Not them. You said... Yes. Uh... Well, I was sure you wouldn't. Refugees haggard faces break into smiles. A few of them hug each other. We won't be any trouble, I promise. And, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us? Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Sure was kind of you to let us stay. I'll oh, check out these containers. October 12th, 1998. Six. No. Seven. Months since the bomb spell. Um. Had an incident at the West Gate. Some civilians dug under the fence and tried to make a run for the commissary. Sergeant Peters told us to open fire, 
You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? Got more time to explore the base than we have. Can you ask can we ask you about it? Sure. You touch any of the equipment in the war room? Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of, well, uh, of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. You checked out the med bay? We stay away from that awful room. Nothing but death in there. You been in the brig? Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in. Living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I, well, I, I left him locked up after I met him. I, I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but, uh, he just kept asking questions that felt off. Sorry, she wasn't helpful to him, but we're helpful to them. Interesting. And those glassy eyes. All right, so we might be nuts. Did you find Booby the armor? traps, mostly. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Anything we can scavenge in the garage? Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. In the archive room. We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. That's what it hurt us. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Alright, so this place is bigger than I thought. A young man lies twist on the floor. He wears shabby clothes. Been dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. Search the body. The man, this man is carrying nothing on it. The clothes you wore on his body and those are tattered and grimy. His shoes have holes in their soles. One of his pockets. Find a half eaten, sweet smelling mushroom. Alright, just step away. What's going on with the dead guy? Is he, uh, all right? Is there a dog? Eh? Talk to this guy. We have you to the bars of his cells. A pale, real thin man with a matter hand, frame faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glass eyed grin. Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? For the Rangers, this is going to be our new headquarters. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once, a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? Oh, 
sir. Top secret. So you're part of some important organization, huh? You look like you're, uh, real important, you know? I can see it in your pretty eyes. Do you have, um, more people in your group? Oh, so not many then, huh? Don't worry, you'll make new friends, I bet, though. <laughs> you, uh, you seem real friendly and nice, so... Hey, what, uh, what... I actually got a couple questions for you there, man. Oh, yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. What's her name? My name? Uh, yeah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick. Booger. Dickens. Lyle? Something like that. Oh my god. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone, uh, asked me about it. I... I kind of been here for a while. How long you been here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks That's in good here, point. you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. It's been eating those mushrooms in the corner. You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom grow there, man. So I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms are growing good. Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and hmm. skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. You tell us about any of the groups that lived here before us? Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him. You know? Kinda... Kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits, and people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Tell us about the dead guy. Oh, man. That's, uh... <laughs> That's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. Andy. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, um, well, you came in. Tell us about the tired eyes lady. Well, she was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> Anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. 
Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for the company, you know? The smiling woman? Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a traitor. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was going to deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, sure, because uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say that. What do you mean by a little fuzzy? You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I ate a lot of mushrooms. G can't always remember things that happened in the, uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, and there was, um, there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and, uh, the bloody screamers, and, uh, and them metal fellers, and the really white guy, and owl, uh, owl face. Oh, and the six wee men, and the lion. But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first, and uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so. We we'll ask yeah, you about yeah, something else. Okay, cool. Why are you in here? Because uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> and we're asking, why were you put in there? Oh man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man. Like, former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore. So he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. Why are you in there again? I told you, man, my partner trapped me in here. Thought he was my friend, you know? But, uh, but he wasn't. What happened with the dead refugee? Oh, uh, didn't, uh, didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and, uh, freaked out and starts messing with that, uh, computer machine over there. And, yeah, then there's this, then after a while, the alarm stopped, right. and then, um, well, you came in. We found a half-eaten mushroom in the corpse's pocket. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors, and they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> I want us to let you out. Oh, man, yes, yes, please. Very much. Um... Your call on this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. Yeah, you should probably stand there for now. Oh, man, just like everybody else. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll see you around. Maybe.
Ooh, excuse me. I keep hearing a dog. Your squad skills are high enough. Sometimes brute force will work. Break down the door, smack a misbehaving computer, or forcefully shut down a power generator. Press X and then attack the option. Turn objects such as vault doors or ice walls may require specific damage types to damage. Brief history of the tibia. I mean, is that a dog or is it that guy? All right, we got to go tell this crew we found their missing guy. People are people, and sometimes they need help. That's what the rangers do, right? Help people. And we found your missing guy, Andy. Sorry to say he's dead. <sighs> Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. How did he... No. I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. What's this thing? Oh, customizing appearance. Well, this must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. On these tables is cold and partially eaten, but not rot. It's clear someone recently had, had mid meal. Ghost repair. Go for a dock. Broken, he doesn't have it. It's hard to tell if that was a guy panting or... Definitely sound like a dog to me. Oh, it's head this way. <clears throat> Man, I wish these were labeled. That looks like a big room. What a stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. This desiccated husk of a man is a little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. Search for a cause of death. I think a simple case of starvation and dehydration, but... Corpse's ankles and wrists show some scarring as if he was chained up for a while. Pack. 
The other corpses are missing several digits and facial features. Search for a cause of death. Like exposure to extreme cold. Look, this person's missing extremity scarring indicates this may have happened multiple times over several years. It wasn't the cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicated that he was whipped to death. Also notice the same scarring on his ankles and wrists as on the other corpses. Most likely from manacles. This torn skin suggests they were frequently removed. A pile of corpses in this corner. People died in a variety of ways, most of them violent. Bullet holes in one, a crushed skull in another, cut throat in a third. All the same scarring on their ankles and wrists as the other corpses, most likely from manacles. Torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. Female corpse is bloated and putrefied. One of her arms is entirely missing. Black ichor oozes from her swollen torso. Torture calls it. Looks like the missing arm had nothing to do. The woman's demise it had been expertly removed and stitched up. Long before she died, instead, she seemed to have died of an infection or illness. You Notice know, the same scarring on her ankles and wrists. Looks like these people have been trafficked by slavers. Failure lock picking impossible. Oh, we're gonna save the game. Door guarding this vault is enormous and reassessed in the walls. Floors and ceiling it appears that can only be opened with a numeric keep out in the wall, several feet away. Enter a key code at random. Start pressing buttons, but you don't even know how many numbers are in the sequence. If you press enter, the display clears, and the door shows no signs of moving. Alright. Can't go that way. Look at all this machinery. Oh, god dang it. That was like a little too late. Alright, we got a tripwire. Terminal is displaying information about the basic systems. All seems normal right now. The only log you can find in this terminal released for a massive data wipe from several decades ago. Terminal is displaying information about the basic systems. All seems normal right now. Why do we just have one guy go in there? Should check it out, up. How do we have one guy go in? Um, oh, there you go.
No. Jeez. Well, be of no use to anybody in this condition. I need medical attention. I don't want her to use it on her. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, we're in bad shape. We blew the tripwire. We got a grenade, that was it. How do we get in here? Yeah, we're gonna die. We're like on such low health. Oh, all right. How do we? Hmm. All right. He'll be. Fine. Thunder is pretty bad. Things are all pretty bad. to be alive. I think that was all of them. Isn't it great to be alive? Oh, that will do. Thank you. Maybe he can just use it whenever. Oh, let's save. Alright, stay frosty. Going in. Huh. A 
garage. Oh shit. We get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. Yeah, there was a big thing. Oh, we got a repair kit. Just ignore the robot. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. A guy emanates from a huge shop door in the garage of the entrance with some metal spark. Alright, pick lock, we don't have that. Shit. Well said slicer dicer. Whoops, the young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted on that triangle. I just the smell, she's been here a while. Name on the corpse. Women's are wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Their pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire, and a bit of circumvol. Looks like this wastelander made her living while scavenging or paying electronics. She would have felt right home in an old garage like this. How'd she die? Body's in natural position. Suggests some kind of seizure, and there are signs of discoloration on her face, indicative of heart failure. Indicative of heart failure. Electrocution. The enormous spider like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. Its casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the script marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Recognize it as a slicer dice or pre apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. 
on closer inspection, you notice some of the bolt holes have been patched. Some of the legs show signs of recent welding. This is the main access panels open and building its wiring and power plant. Here is someone's been trying to repair the robot. What the hell's that yellow for? Alright, it's not open yet. Three. She has mechanics one. That goes to Colorado. Seems normal. Access a hidden menu. Write a script to wipe the request. In the archive room, so we got. Zal seems to be at home at behind his radio equipment. He salutes crisply as you approach. 
Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high-frequency radio equipment all set up. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's arrest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. The finest setup you'll find this side of the Rockies. This equipment took years to get together. A lot of it custom work. String and pieces of gum, you know? This is the only setup in Colorado able to communicate on all sorts of frequency bands, up to the HF band. That means we can reach you pretty much no matter where you are in Colorado. The basic controls are straightforward. You should try the device yourselves whenever you're here. I've picked up all kinds of signals. It's possible you could even reach Arizona. What do you think about the Patriarch? I've worked the radio for some time now, and I hear all kinds of stories from other parts of the world. Horrors you wouldn't believe. Is Colorado perfect? No, but it's a damn sight better than any alternative I've seen. I feel about being part of the Rangers. Speaking frankly, great. Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the marshals. I felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. Proud to be a ranger now. You tell us again what it is you do? I'm your radio communications expert. I'll be manning the radio whenever you call in, or whenever we need to reach you. Which is the easy part of this job? The hard part is keeping this equipment in tip-top shape and ready to go. You can start a car AI. Are you an expert? Oh, I'm not. It just turns out artificial intelligence isn't that much different from fiddling with radios. Easy enough to install, it turned out, but I wouldn't know the first thing about it otherwise. Anytime. All right. Talk with Rangers. Sarge. Good to see you. Sure thing. Let's have a look. There you go. Anything else? All right. Uh, what else? You know more. Happy to you... tell you what you need to know. Your story. Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid, and was a young man when Saul was trying to unite the families and make Colorado a state. I got behind him right away. He had leader written all over him, even back then. I've served at his side ever since. Fighting against the monster army, consolidating power here in town, helping him expand our borders. What Mr. Gradsky means is that he played a key role in many of the Patriarch's greatest victories, and he had no small part in making Colorado what it is today. You're too kind, Darius. Well, the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. This business with his children is just the latest in a long line of troubles. You served with the Patriarch for so long, you must like him. <laughs> I do indeed. Some folks can't get past his brusque ways, but that's just the impatience of a man who knows what's right, dealing with fools who don't. He cares too deeply about the well-being of the people of Colorado to let political courtesy slow him down. Of course, you'll hear a lot of folk condemning him for hurting this group or that group with his decisions. But the way I see it, they should be glad it wasn't them who had to make the choice. You tell us some stories about your days fighting? Nah, I don't care about that. 
I want some Happy more. to. What's on your mind? I'll be here. My inventory we've got a wrench. Who's got the um I'll have to check out the skills later. The map is there. We've checked out pretty much every spot. I'll have to check out well except for the garage. Or whatever's over here. Cornered rats. Early before we arrived at Patterson Air Force, Peterson Air Force Base, a large group of doors used to attack Colorado Springs. Attack failed, and most of the holdouts are holed up in a garden of gods. All right. house so a new headquarters will only be as useful people can recruit we should also focus on getting our critical infrastructure structure up and running group personnel for ranger hq rig jailer a med pay doctor an army quartermaster and annex level 17 So we got most of that, and then we've got our our fame is up so much with the marshals, the refugees. All right, cool. So I think next we're gonna. I mean, we can't figure out what's in the garage. What's wrong with the garage? And then um, we can't go well with that robot. We don't have enough mechanical power, and we can't get beyond that one door because we need a code of some sort. So, all right, mysteries that need to be solved. So if you like the video, hit like. If not, dislike, perfectly fine. Subscribe if you want some more. Dr. Quas and the doctor's out. Be safe.